All right, guys, so one of the questions we get probably four times a week is, how do we get the shots we get? Uh, what camera we're using? How do we get the overhead shots? What settings are we using and so forth? So I thought, what not? We're gonna, we're gonna tell you all the trade secrets. That's right. <laughs> Who not better to share it with? So we got Jigging with Jordan. Uh, we're gonna go over some of his camera gear and then we're gonna go over some of our camera gear and share with you guys how we get the shots, how to make it easy and- uh, All the trial and error. And the trial hand, and error. Just get all the good stuff. That's right okay. Now. All right, we'll, we'll start with Jordan. What do we got here? This right here is the one and only uh, Blue Bay, even though she's kind of black camo. Um, but anyway, I do like a lot of like uh, filming off of this thing full time. I do like spear fishing, diving, all that stuff. Um, a couple of things that I 100% recommend is any of the mirrors, throw yourself a GoPro mount there. I actually stole this from Randy. It's a swivel where I can put it either way. So you can get really cool shots that way or this way, um, which is really nice. But one of the, one of the key pieces I keep right here. Um, so basically anytime we're riding, I, I actually stole this from Randy too, this uh, this idea, but this mount right here, it's just like the GoPro handle, you throw your GoPro, whatever one you have on there, but you can really get dynamic shots, you can talk, you can show off the other riders you're with, you can go this way and get where you're going, so this is uh, one of my favorite for like a really dynamic uh, shot, and it's just like, I don't know, when you watch the footage of this thing, it really makes you feel like you, you can really experience the surroundings. Well, so. Let's do this, let's go to some footage right now yep. and check it out. All right, so you guys saw what it looks like. Now let's see what else he uses. All right, so this is essential. This is like all of my big camera. This camera lives in that bag. Um, it's a Yeti submergible waterproof bag. This one's a Panga 75, um, but I live and die by this bag. This is like my go-to. It keeps all of my batteries and everything. Um, and I will show you kind of a secondary, I'll, so, I'll show you a secondary measure here. Uh, all of my batteries I actually keep in other uh, waterproof bags. So if I want to take it out of there and toss it up here where I can readily get to it, um, that's super convenient. But I normally hang this thing over on the sides. Unless it's super rough water, I'll put it on as a backpack so it doesn't get beat up. But um, those are going to be my main pieces of equipment besides the drone, which I did not bring. However, I do have a DJI Mavic. Um, and I recommend Mavic actually makes a little Pelican case. All your batteries fit in there, your controller. Um, and I actually throw it in the big hatch. So I just let it get absolutely beat up because the Pelican protects it. Um, and that's pretty much gonna be my diving and filming setup. Uh, obviously I have the basket on the back there that'll hold the Nauta cam, but I never go like offshore in rough water with that. Other than that, I just have the cooler with drinks and occasionally the chest mount. That's what's up. So that is the Jigging with Jordan setup. Uh, obviously, the Nauta Cam is amazing. You yeah. guys see those cinematic underwater shots. It's a huge part of it. Absolutely, man. And uh, those slow motion shots are amazing. So, uh, what is this camera here? This is a Canon 1DX Mark II. Um, so, it's pretty expensive, beefy camera that uh, I would only recommend if you're willing to uh, break your bank account because the batteries alone cost 200 bucks a piece. But um, it's an amazing piece of equipment that uh, really helps me tell my stories. Uh, any of your cameras that you're going to have out here, try to get polarizers if you can. So when you throw on those Costas or Oakley polarized glasses you can see through the water, it allows your camera to do the same thing. So uh, this is like my big vlog lens if I want to really show off like true colors and true beauty. Other than that, I'm ripping GoPros on here. That's right. So. Uh, one thing Brandon told me on one of our last rides, he was beating the camera. I'm looking at him going, okay, that's a $5,000 camera. <laughs> and he's just trashing it, throwing it in the case. He's, and he says, it's my tools yep. and I use them. And I yep. thought, okay, I'm going to beat my camera up too. They um, can handle it. Yeah, they can. They so really can. Uh, Brandon, love the gear. Yes, I'm going to walk can. over to my area and uh, show you guys some of the stuff we use when we're out on the water. You guys are always asking how we get the shot, like the behind uh, over the ski shot. And uh, so what we've done is we have created like this pole you guys have been asking about this and it attaches to the rod holder it can move around the cooler any location the GoPro goes up top and that's where you get that shot matter of fact let's go ahead and I'll, I'll break away to a shot real quick so you can see what it looks like So that's what it looks like, the overhead shot, you guys seen it, it's, uh, it's just a, a pole that we've put into the rod holder and uh, attaches to the link cooler from Sea-Doo and really allows us to get just a, a really cool shot from behind. 
But uh, some of the other stuff we use, obviously, lots of GoPro batteries. So we always keep lots of GoPro batteries with us. Our underwater mask where we attach the GoPro to the top there, that's where we get those underwater shots, guys. This is a really cool piece. You guys have probably seen some over-under shots. This is so you can get shots over and half under water. The GoPro mounts in the back here. Uh, really cool bubble lens. We call It's called a dome lens, but let's get that over under shot. Kind of like a Nauta cam, but about $12,000 cheaper. This is the vlog camera, guys. This is what you guys see uh, a lot of the vlogging and talking points done with. It's got a road mic on top. Uh, we do a lot of on water stuff, so it's very important for us to have a, uh, a camera that doesn't get wind so as we're driving if we want to talk this cancels all the wind it's called a dead cat it's on top of the camera but uh, inside this Yeti I like the small Yeti because what we do is we have the drone and then the Yeti on top and inside the sea -Doo, the drone sits down first then the Yeti on top and when we shut it everything stays nice and snug and then inside the Yeti is the Canon 5d3 with the 24 to 70 lens on it. I always got extra batteries in there, guys, to keep everything powered up. DJI Mavic Pro, this is where you guys see all those uh, shots, those aerial shots when we're chasing the skis around. Uh, always have extra batteries on deck, uh, polarizers, and ND filters. This is so when it's really bright out, basically what this does, it's like putting uh, sunglasses on the drone. So a couple other things we have here, guys, is uh, inside this case here, we have a ton of extra GoPro mounts. You can never have too many of those. Inside here, we've got the waterproof housing. Now, the GoPro itself is waterproof, but I like to have an extra GoPro housing. I have had a GoPro leak on me before uh, out on a shoot, and uh, GoPro went down, and we were down one GoPro. So anytime we're doing some deep water diving, I put it in the waterproof housing just to get that added security. All right, so over to the Sea-Doo. Uh, again, inside the Sea-Doo, we've got the chest mount. This is where you guys see those shots over the steering wheel. Highly recommend this if you guys are trying to get out there and ride and get those great shots. Uh, inside the ski, we've got other cameras. This is where one camera goes, one GoPro, and then the other GoPro. Essentially, these are where two of my GoPros go. When this is shut down, we've got the mount here. Sometimes this is firing back at the rider. Other times we fire it forward. Uh, so you guys can get that point of view but that is the camera setup the gear uh chest mount to get those shots as we're riding always want to have you know mounts on the ski these mounts are strong they do not come off but be careful make sure you clean it good before you stick them on there but uh, anyhow you guys get out there explore have fun create some great content and we will see you on the next video we are all alone.